The Panzer S1. This formidable air defense system is a force to be reckoned with. Combining cutting edge technology, relentless precision and unpropelled protection. It is the main weapon used to keep the sky safe near the front lines. We'll talk about that further in the video. Today we'll be covering this impressive weapon and what makes it really impressive. Developed in Russia, the Panzer S1, also known as the SA-22 Greyhound, has been in production since 2002. With thousands of units produced worldwide, it has proven its effectiveness in safeguarding critical assets and providing protection against airborne threats. When it comes to cost, the exact pricing might vary depending on several factors, but on average a single unit of the Panzer S1 is estimated to cost around 15 million US dollars. Now let's get into details about the weapon system. For example, when the Panzer is on the move to a certain location, it holds a significant mobility advantage over most short-range air defense systems. The Panzer S1 is equipped with a powerful engine that enables it to achieve impressive speeds on the battlefield. It can reach a maximum road speed of approximately 90 km per hour and has a range of 800 km with its fuel capacity. The system features a wheeled chassis that allows for a swift movement across various terrains, enabling it to quickly reach critical operational positions. The system's compact design and integrated launchers provide an efficient deployment, ensuring a rapid response to emerging threats. This agility and speed make the Panzer S1 a highly effective air defense system, capable of adapting to dynamic battlefield scenarios. When the Panzer reaches the location of deployment and it's set up, it activates its highly advanced radar system that plays a crucial role in its operational effectiveness. The system compromises a target acquisition radar, or TAR, and fire control radar, FCR, working together seamlessly to detect and track around 20 targets and engage four airborne threats with exceptional precision. The target acquisition radar operates in the X-band frequency range, allowing for long-range detection capabilities. With a detection range of up to 40 kilometers, the TAR can identify and track multiple targets simultaneously, providing early warning and situational awareness to the operators. Its high-resolution capabilities enable accurate target identification, distinguishing from friend and foe. Now the second radar, or the fire control radar, operates in the H-band frequency range and serves as the guiding mechanism for the system's missiles and artillery guns. With its advanced tracking and targeting capabilities, the fire control radar ensures precise and effective engagement of aerial threats. It works in conjunction with the target acquisition radar to continuously monitor the target's position, speed and trajectory, enabling the system to make real-time adjustments for accurate interception. The integration of these radar systems allow the Panzer S1 to provide a comprehensive coverage and protection against a wide range of airborne threats, including aircraft, helicopters, small and big UAVs, most stealth targets and even precision guided munitions. The radar's exceptional detection and tracking range, combined with its ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously, make the Panzer S1 a highly capable and reliable air defense solution in various operational scenarios. When a target is acquired by the radar, the Panzer S1 air defense system utilizes a variety of missiles to engage and neutralize airborne threats. It is armed with both surface-to-air missiles and anti-aircraft artillery, providing a multi-layered defense capability. The system's surface-to-air missiles are designed to intercept and destroy targets at various ranges and altitudes. The main missile used is the 57E6E surface-to-air missile with a maximum speed of approximately Mach 2.5, which is equivalent to about 3,066 km per hour. The missile also has an engagement range of up to 20 km, and it is known for its high-speed intercept capability advanced guidance system and its high maneuverability making it effective against a range of airborne threats. But it doesn't end here. In addition to the surface-to-air missiles, the Panzer S1 is also equipped with an anti-aircraft artillery guns, which further enhance its defensive capabilities. These guns, with a caliber of 30mm, provide a rapid-fire capability to engage and suppress incoming targets, such as aircraft or UAVs at shorter ranges. The fire control system looks at a target, let's say a small suicide drone. It calculates its velocity and then shoots down the 30mm gun accordingly. The operation can be done both automatically and manually. 
But a good question would be, why is it used near the front lines and not some other anti-air defense system like the S-400? In conflicts like the Russia-Ukraine war, the Pentair S-1 is often deployed near the front lines because it excels at engaging low-flying threats such as UAVs, attack helicopters, cruise missiles, and low-flying aircraft. These types of targets pose a significant danger to troops on the front line and nearby military infrastructure. Additionally, the Pantier S-1 offers advantages such as quick reload and mobility, allowing it to swiftly move and set up in different locations. Furthermore, its cost-effectiveness compared to larger systems like the S-400 makes it a practical choice for frontline defense. On the other hand, the S-400 is typically positioned further back and is primarily designed to engage strategic targets like ballistic missiles and high-flying stealth aircraft. This was a brief video about the impressive system. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you like this type of content, and tell me in the comments below what would you like to see next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.